back to my video. If I sound a little weird, I'm currently still getting over this cold. I got my first figure of March. Today's the March 1st. This figure I'm at a show, um, a seller was selling at Mercari. I've been shopping there way too much. Um, but some of these sellers do get out good prices, especially for the figures being in the aftermarket. Um, I feel like the prices are really good. So this one's very expensive because it's a native one fourth figure. It's my first native figure and it's a, my first cast off, but I live with my mom and my siblings, so I will not be displaying her cast off. I will display her of her clothes. I like her clothes anyway, so I don't see a problem. I'm not mad about it, but yeah, she's adorable, so. I also forgot to mention, if you guys know some background, I actually took the time and money to fix my blinds instead of spending it on figures. Because <laughs> usually when I'm editing, I can see the blinds broken in the background because my dogs broke it because they saw birds outside or something. And I was like, man, I really need to fix those blinds. That's kind of embarrassing. I finally did! Yay! This is how huge the box is, which she's not even a standing figure, so I think she's just like half of it? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so when the seller was selling it, they mentioned that it was brand new and sealed, which is awesome. Oh wow, it does take up the whole box. I did not expect that at all. I'll be taking her out the box. Um, I probably cannot unbox it, she's gonna be naked. Bunch of these peanuts. So I love the, the protection. Oh, here's another one. Look, it's a knuckle paw figure. I think the seller had pets because my dog's really interested in it. <laughs> he won't stop sniffing the box. Here it is. Oh. Upside down. Of course, I would have it upside down. Here's the top, the logo, and then we got cinnamon from Nekopara, the one fourth scale painted figure by binding. Most of my figures are for freeing, so this is my first binding figure. I think from Native too. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that because I don't know. How do you even open this? They have their box so weird. Oh. Oh, okay. So this must be where you, it's the card where she's naked. I don't know how to show y'all. <laughs> That's all I could pretty much show. I can't show you guys this either, but we'll just cover that part. She's sealed. I will we'll unbox her off camera for the first time. I've never unboxed a camera. I'm mean, a figure off camera. So, okay, so here's the clothes, and I'm actually gonna keep her dress, like I said. Um, because the, look at, it's real fabric. That is adorable. I love that. And it, the belt. Oh! So, I don't know if it'll be easier to put her tail and her ponytail on first or the clothes. But it does come with instructions. We're gonna test this out. It's telling me to put the stuff on first so you could also take like her arms apart that is terrifying we'll see i have a problem thingy for the panties broke so i can't hook the panties i mean she's gonna be wearing the clothes anyways but i'm like let's give this girl's her panties but i don't know i don't know if i broke it i didn't even notice i broke it it's like so hard to get her stuff on. <laughs> okay, like three hours later, I feel like I finally got her clothes on. Um, there goes the nipples, but she's adorable. I love the little fabric on her clothes, the real life tights, and the way she's making like a heart with her hands and the hair. And she's so cute. So look at her little maid outfit. Ignore the nipples, but and her face and like all the details they put into this figure um binding native collaboration whatever i feel like they did really awesome on this figure and i kind of want the other girls but that's gonna be so expensive so i'm just gonna stick with my favorite cinnamon and yeah i'm just gonna stick with her for now and i like how if you keep her clothed you won't see anything 
like if i turn her around you can't see her butt unless you look for it so it's also like family friendly sort of but yeah perfect for those still living with their mom but she's so cute i love her and all the details they put into this figure okay so this is one that i got um and i sent it through cmail which i honestly forgot about it i think it's shipped out like during the end of december so for it to be like two months because given this is the beginning of march it's not too bad um of a wait and i think these were just pre-owned figures that i liked but like i didn't feel like it was worth the dhl price because it's gotten more more inexpensive and like i said i feel like i mentioned this in every episode now but it does so first on this unboxing i got maki and obara jujitsu kaisen acrylic stands that they look so cute especially paired next to each other have them next to my jujitsu kaisen manga right now and then i got this rem figure which i honestly don't know why i think um but i think i'm gonna sell it because my i've run out of space so I'll link my Mercari down below if anyone's interested. And then here's me struggling to get all this stuff out. And then I also have this Nezuko. I think it was like $5. And I was like, wow. Um, I got I think I got most of this pre-owned. And I can't tell. I think I got this canal um pre-owned, but it was like still sealed for like $20 less. So I got it because I wanted to sh pair her with Shinobu, and then I also pre-ordered the altar uh i can't think of his name the guy with no friends <laughs> him Here she is, she looks so adorable, and I love the base. I know a lot of people say it's plain, but I like how it has that little power effect that's translucent. It could be worse, it could be a pop parade space. Um, and then the effects around her are so cute. I am tired of this lighting. The sun was facing the wrong direction that day, but yeah, I feel like the shading looks good. And even though it's like more on the simple side, um, I still very much like it and I find it better than the Mega House one because I feel like the Mega House one looked pretty bad and there weren't much pi pictures to go off of but her she looks adorable and then her hair looks like it's flowing and her dress I feel like they did an amazing job yes this is the figure I said I might be selling earlier on my Mercari um, don't get me wrong, she's an adorable figure. I really want a Rem figure, but can't really decide because there's so many. Um, and I think I was like spurning that day, so that's why I got this. But yeah, the, the shelf where I have a bunch of like my pastel colored figures, I'm like, oh, she looked perfect on that shelf. Well, that shelf is like really full and it just looks crowded with her on it. So I think I might sell her and another, I think the Elizabeth pop-up parade, I might be selling that one too. So if you're interested in any of that, then I'll leave my name, Macari name down below. Go search me up and see what I'm selling. I'm selling a lot of stuff. If any more of y'all interested, just message me. Guys, if you haven't watched the new Demon Slayer season, go watch it. Nezuko girl boss so hard in that season. Well, the start of it. And yeah, I just cannot wait for the more episodes because it's really good so far. I really recommend. Okay, the more 
I'm watching this video, the more I'm like, what possessed me to buy all this crap that I do not have space for? What the heck? And then I'm wondering, why do my shelves look so crowded? Oh, because this is why. No, but for I love these Nabara and Maki acrylic stands because they look so cute, especially displayed right together. But the only thing is they're like super small. I kind of wish they were more taller, if that makes sense. I don't know, I just feel like they're so small. Okay, so this is my last part of the haul and I just realized that I didn't get any figures in April and um, I was gonna name this video March slash April figure haul but there's no figures in April so I could have been edited and got this video out but I didn't so it's just gonna be a March figure haul posted in May which is fine <laughs> um, but yeah I think the only figures I got in April were my pre-orders and that's about it really but i really spent a lot that month because i also got another one for scale and it's the jabril bare legged bunny figure which i panicked because she was out of stock for a day and then she came back in stock the next morning so i picked her out scared that she's gonna get out of stock also got a mega me um keychain and a chica ninja doll I don't know why. I, oh, because she was on sale. And then I added him to the order hoping they would extend my payment date. But they didn't. Uh, and I just ended up paying more. Because. <laughs> and I also got these photo cards. Hoping that it would also extend the payment. No, I think I just got it because it was on like $3. But yeah. Y'all, the box was like so huge. I was struggling unboxing her on camera. Um, I don't know why I just love the aesthetic ASMR unboxings. That's why I try to do those for you guys. But I was really struggling because her box is so huge. few moments later y'all assembling her killed me like cinnamon was worse but this it was just like a little cherry on the top like the pegs the, where the wings go it, it i tried taking those out it, it took forever i was struggling but here she is in her all her glory her beauty y'all know i love jabril i have um y'all see that tapestry in the background of her half naked i love her and her color the hair color i wish i've seen so many people say this but i wish the tattoo was on the other side or if she was posing in the other direction so we could see her tattoo but sadly that is not the case for this buddy figure which i think they have her in this direction just so she could pose well with the other two bunnies um which i'm not gonna get i'm just gonna get jabot because she's amazing and i love her Okay, I, shouldn't, I couldn't show much in this unboxing either because she was also sneaky. I mean, it wasn't as bad as Cinnamon Sneaky because she's a little chibi little doll, but um, still don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. And yeah, here's me just setting up her clothes. I'm kind of struggling because she's so small and it's so hard getting the clothes on. It's like those little Polly Pockets. You guys remember the Polly Pockets when you were kids? And it was so hard getting the clothes on that's me that's that's what it reminds me of 
you guys i have her in this little cat outfit and she's so adorable the only thing that infuriates me is that she keeps falling or her arm keeps coming off or the cat ears keep like getting flung off of her head because they're not really that stable the cat ears i wish they were like i don't know is not really stable at all and her arm keeps i feel like her arm is broken but the sleeve is like holding on to it and i'm too lazy to fix it but yeah other than that she's really cute i have her next on my manga shelf because she just looks adorable there and yeah also got this megami keychain that failed me when i tried to extend the payment because i could have sworn if you add like another item they like extend it but they didn't this time and here are the photo cards I got for no apparent reason that are still sitting on my desk. I think I just wanted the Gojo one and I got the rest for the heck of it, but yeah. <laughs>